Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Today is Kids Day. During the season of Advent, we are preparing to celebrate the birth of Jesus by following the stories from the Jesse Tree. The Jesse Tree is a devotional guide for us to tell the story of Jesus, which begins back in the creation and goes through all of the stories that we find in the Bible. These are stories of God's love that has been revealed to us over many centuries. And we know that as we see this whole story, we realize just how much God loved us in bringing us Jesus to be the, the fulfillment of many promises. Last week for our Jesse tree, we were remembering the story of the creation when God's Spirit came upon the waters and created the heavens and the earth, the disobedience of Adam and Eve, the story of Noah and God's promise never to flood the earth again in the rainbow, and God's promise to Abraham to make his descendants as numerous as the stars of the heavens. Abraham did indeed have a son, Isaac. And Isaac was the one through whom God's promise would be fulfilled. There was a time when Abraham had to show that he truly trusted that God would care for and protect Isaac and provided a ram in the bushes to be a sacrifice. One of Isaac's sons was Jacob. And Jacob had to, to leave his home for a period of time. And when he was out in the wilderness on his own, God gave him a special vision of a ladder, a ladder that would go from earth to heaven with angels going up and down. This was a sign to, to Jacob that God was with him. And then one of Jacob's sons was Joseph. Joseph went into Egypt, and there he became very important. And when there, was a, when there was a famine, Jacob was able to provide his family with grain to eat. So this symbol represents the sacks of grain. The people of Israel lived in Egypt, and they became slaves. And God sent Moses to lead them to freedom. They crossed the Red Sea. And then when they were in the wilderness of Sinai, God gave them the gift of the commandments. And so these tablets of stone represent the commandments that God gave so that God's people would know the right way to live. When the people of Israel entered into the promised land, they had to have leaders. And in time, they would have kings. This symbol here is of some wheat. It represents wheat because the great-grandmother of King David was Ruth, and she gathered the leftover bits of grain as a way of taking care of herself and her mother-in-law, Naomi. The prophet Samuel took a jar of oil and anointed David to be the king. And then at the right time, David became king of all the people of Israel. These are the stories we are remembering this week. They help us to know that God is with us now and is caring for us always. Let's join together in praying with our fingers. We begin by praying for those who are closest to us. We pray for our family members, for our mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins. We pray for our friends. We ask that God will protect them and will make them safe in everything that they do. We pray for our community helpers, for doctors and nurses, for teachers, for firefighters and police officers. We pray for our leaders, in our communities, in our nation, and in the world. We pray for those who are sick, those who are sad, those who are lonely. We ask that God will bring them comfort. And we pray for ourselves. 
we pray that we will will shine with the light of Jesus as we share his love. Let's join together in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.